Hi, everybody, and welcome to our accessible home tour. We're going to be taking you through uh, some, some renovations that, that we've had done to uh, make our homework work best for us and to be able to focus on the things that we really care about, like, um, like family and relationships and work um, and doing things that, that we love to do. Uh, we've been really fortunate that we've been able to make uh, so many wonderful um, accessible adaptations uh, to our home uh, to make it really work for us. So we're going to take you through some of that. So the biggest step, big for us is why is it so important to have an accessible home? In our accessible home serves as a foundation for the rest of our lives. It's been such an instrumental part of our independence and it allows us, because that is sad, to focus on things like our careers, relationships, copies and advocacy efforts. And so we're going to show you some of the features that help us the most to re retain our independence. And I renovated our kitchen 12 years ago. I was living with a very inaccessible kitchen, which was actually dangerous for me. So I was reaching over hot burners at the stove and I couldn't reach my sink. So I was actually sitting at the side of my wheel, wheelchair wheels. Oh. And so I made it a priority to save up and I completely made my kitchen wheelchair accessible to fit my needs. So some of the features are the wheelchair height countertops. They're much lower the typical countertops. Um, we've got a lower oven, microwave, cooktop. Um, then we've got the storage shelves at the front of the island for our glassware. And one of the most useful things for us is the pull-down shelves at the upper cabinets. I was not able to ever reach the things in my upper cabinets. And so I worked with the carpenter and he helped me find these pull-down shelves. And I still couldn't quite reach them because I'm so short. And so <laughs> we uh, got a little bit creative and we added some athletic um, pull-down handles. And they were a very cheap way that I could actually reach everything to the upper cabinets. And he saw that in the video. And so that's, that's been a wonderful feature. Uh, so these slides show you the pull-down shelves. And they're in almost all of our upper cabinets. Yeah, I love that. I mean, I'm super jealous. I'm definitely looking at these as well now that I've seen them. So the handles, um, so you open the cabinet, you're able to grab that handle and yep. pull it down. And then it's like magnetic as well, you mentioned? So it's um, it's hydraulic. It's hydraulic. Hydraulic. Okay. So yeah. yeah. So it goes down slowly, so you don't have things crash crashing on your head. Mm -hmm. I love that. Yes. Awesome. Yeah, I and kind that. of similar similar to Stephanie, I'll, I'll tell a quick story here. So, um, I lived in New York from 1982 until 2004, and accessible to me in, in New York was just could I could I get into the building? Mm. And so uh, when I moved to North Carolina. Um, I was able to find apartments to, to rent um, that uh, even though they, they, they weren't, you know, quite the um, accessible adaptations that, that Stephanie uh, ended up doing with renovation, uh, they were certainly, it was certainly much more accessible in this area that uh, where we live now, um, where I could really, uh, you know, really use uh, to, you know, a much greater extent uh, my, you know, that, that space. Um, and when Stephanie and I met, I was living in my own condo that, that was not fully adapted like hers was. Um, but I could use basically everything in that apartment except for high shelves. Right. I, I really had to use that for just, just storage basically. Um, and so, uh, you know, I could, and, and very similar to Stephanie, you know, I had electric burners that I had to really reach over. And fortunately, I do have longer arms, so <laughs> you know, I could do it. But it was, I mean, thinking back on it, I didn't think 
you know, think a lot about the uh, safety implications of it, but <laughs> I mean, they were definitely there for, for right. sure. So, um, yeah. you know, when, when, when we started to, to date and started to, you know, our, our relationship really started to get serious. I, I, you know, I was able to like really get a sense of, wow, this is what a, you know, accessible home should, should really be. Can I so, just renovated right before I met Dennis? Ah, okay. So you showed him, you showed him the way, Stephanie. Right. <laughs> I love that. I think, yeah, there's so many features in your kitchen. And I, I think the reason that we focused on the kitchen is because it's like the most popular room in the house for many of us, for most of us. And, you know, this is really going to help us thrive if we're able to get in the kitchen and cook meals for ourselves and stay healthy and, you know, access the things that we need. So this one I love too. You have the pull-out pantry, which I think, you know, some people already have, but I think that's such a, that's so much better than your typical open the door kind of closet pantry because you have access from both sides. And then the drawer dishwasher, which I love. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Sure. So part of the problem with the dishwasher is because I lowered the counters. So the the typical fold-out dishwasher wouldn't fit. Right. And also, um, with the door that folds out, it makes it difficult to get around. To, to get in and out. Yeah, I find that too. I'm standing on the side, yeah. leaning yeah. up against the counter, trying to take things out. Not yeah. to God, I don't slip on water. It's like, <laughs> but I could see like, I could see like pulling up a chair for myself or yourself in a wheelchair, pulling up, being able to just safely pull things out as you need them. You know, a lot of us have to use two hands to grab something as simple as a, a glass. So I love that. And then the mm-hmm. pull out trash can too. Um, it's, it seems so much easier to be able to put bags around and just access it. Absolutely. Um, so and it, uh, right where the, the garbage can is, is where I often do food prep. It's okay. So, it makes it so much easier. Uh, yep. To just ready. exactly throw right in there. Exactly. Yeah. To the sink. So the kitchen renovation has had the most impact on my life for my independence. I cook, that is cleans, we're able to do it all ourselves. Mm-hmm. It's um it's really um changed our, our lives. Absolutely. And my favorite feature in the whole kitchen is the sink. This is an ADI Kohler sink. It's at the apron style. And I can roll under the sink or shallow, get wide. Right. The sink. And it absolutely um, makes a huge difference. Yet we've got a touch faucet. So I don't have to reach all the way back. That's another great one. I love yeah. that. So you just kind of brush up against it and it turns on. You just tap it, tap and, it, it. and it turns on. You tap it again and it turns off. That's so yeah. great. It's awesome. And, and, and it's battery powered. So yeah. so you just occasionally have to change out the batteries. Yeah. But it, but, but, but it works great. The pull down faucet. faucet. Yeah. No, I, I love that because now you're, you're not reaching over. You're not, you know, like splashing all over yourself. And yeah. This was another great feature too because, you know, talking about rolling under to really be safe right. at the the at the stove what a great like idea you're not losing storage but you're still making it adaptive with you have like a pull out cart there was that like custom or is that this was custom made yeah i was fortunate enough to work with the carpenter he actually didn't have adi accessible kitchen experience okay he was brilliant if you worked with me, took all my measurements. So he made this pull-out cart. And if you could see, it's got a butcher block top that's good for chopping. It's got a pull-out drawer for storage of pots and pans. And the roll-out, where you could roll it out so I could roll under. So it's- and, you know, and, and when I when I lived in the apartments I lived in, uh, and, 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 and even in my condo, before we met, you know, doing, you know, doing something as simple as doing dishes was way more difficult, you know, because I couldn't roll under like like we can in in, in this home. Uh, And you get soaked, you you get dirty. I mean, it's just, you know, it it makes, 
Um, Who wants to cook? When, I mean, when like you don't when have you... the the, the yeah. roll in feature. Uh, it just makes things uh, so much more difficult, and 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 being able to to have that feature, which I think should be in every kitchen, honestly, from you know, uh, re- really just makes uh, you know makes that particular task, which which nobody wants to do, that 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 much more simple. <laughs> well, Amazing. Amazing. The apron style allows me to lean for balance. Yes, very helpful too. I'm all about leaning on things, but don't yeah. lean on, don't lean on me. I tell people. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's, there's some other great features here. You know, the, um, the shallow drawer for c- cook sheets and storage. And then you mentioned the the glass door for mugs and things like that, which I love as well. Cause that's things you need every day. It's low. So the glassware that's breakable isn't got the pull down. It's shot. not high up. Refrigerator in the last slide. You can yeah. see how- like the French door style, yes. which makes it really easy for us to, to be able to reach everything. It, it's not very tall and right. it's a French door style so that we can easily reach everything in both the freezer and the refrigerator. Can I want to mention yeah. another feature? If you look on the far left, got the mm-hmm. there's an overhang. Oh yeah, right here. It's the place where we sit the most. Ah, right. It's like your breakfast snack. Yep. Kind of, yeah. We're sitting yeah. here right now. Yeah, <laughs> we actually use this, but it's just the two of us because our table. Yeah. So, yep. So that's amazing. Yeah, no, on. like legs underneath a bumping exactly. suit, or exactly. I love that. And then, you know, going into the other areas of the house, I love this idea as well the pull down closet rods, um, which we're going to be linking to all of these, or at least versions of all of these super cool features and, and, um, items on Amazon and other uh, vendor links that were that uh, Dennis and Stephanie have been so gracious to share with us. But I love this idea too. Again, it doesn't have to be for somebody with a disability. This makes everybody's life easier, right? Absolutely. To get access to your clothes. And um, it, it looks like it ma- helps make some extra space yeah. as and, well. And I will put in a word of caution. So, so <laughs> that is a great feature, Oops. but you, um, uh, you just, uh, for, for, for this particular, for the pull downs for the, um, you know, for our closet, uh, one thing that we've learned is to not overload the, <laughs> the closet clothes because the clothes can get real heavy real fast. I could see and, the end of that. It'll, it, it'll snap in half yeah. if, you're, if you're not careful. Uh, gotcha. If you're not careful. So the heavy stuff but, on but, the right. But otherwise yeah. it's, it, it's awesome. So I love it. I love it. Yeah. I'm guilty of doing that myself. <laughs> And then um, I know the bathtub is is a you know a, a big marker in the house for all of us, and getting in and out as safe safely as possible is is definitely something that's top priority. So I, I love the seat here. I love the one that sits in the tub too because yes. it seems like it's foldable. It goes inside or up top, which is super clever. So Dennis and I have different needs for the shower. Okay, so Dennis uses the transfer mm-hmm. bench. If he's taller, it's stronger. He can transfer to that easily. Gotcha. I cannot. And so I use the bath lift. It's why I can do an easy lateral. Oh, wow. So I don't have to lift myself up as high. So I transfer, you know, the same height as my wheelchair. And it's electric. It's with lowers slowly. Wow. Oh, I was I was assuming it was manual. It's so you no. it's just electrically it's lowers you in and out. It's not very expensive. It's expensive, but it's not as expensive not as, much as you would think. As renovated. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah, it just seems like such a wonderful solution. And you know, so many people struggle with you know getting in and out of the mm-hmm. the, the typical standard off-the-shelf bathroom chair about our shower chair yeah and 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 you um only need to to charge the remote right and and it's been working great for 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 the last couple of years i've had it for you so maybe so great because i mean it literally means the difference between being able to shower independently and not get the safety factor with this i don't fear falling it's it's been a big game changer Awesome. Absolutely. Yeah, which I think is really important because with the shower bench, I you know I'm I'm able to balance more easily than than, than Stephanie is. So 
that was a game changer to, to, to be able to get that, for, you know, for her and, 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 and to be able to use that very easily that. without any problems. So, yeah, I think, I think that'll help a lot of people. That's the first time I've come across it and I'm always scouring the internet for adaptable things. So I'm, I'm super excited that <laughs> you guys shared that. And then a few other um, tools here as we wrap up. The, the grip mats, I love anything with like a rubber grip. So I'm assuming yes. that's makes it, uh, prevents it from like sliding on the counter and Definitely. the pantry reachers for anything that you can't, you know, uh, reach yourself. And mm. and the grip device, of course, opening packages and very weak pinch. Right. This Featherman tool gets, gets very small. I have one in my car, get one at home. Uh, and it's, it's been amazing. I, um, I have trouble pinching parking deck tickets. And I oh, always yes. in my car to pinch the parking deck. And credit cards, too, and ATM yes. machines. Yeah. I get anxiety. Yeah. Yes. And, yeah, parking meters are the worst. I've had to stop people yes. on, the, on the street and ask them to take my credit card out of yeah. a machine, which is exactly. not the safest thing to do. So right. I love that. We'll, we'll be linking to all of all of these things and I really am so appreciated appreciative of you guys coming on here and showing us just you know sneak peek into your home and and your lifestyle and some of your tips and tricks and of course you know a, adapting your home looks different for everyone and it doesn't always have to be some exp expensive renovation um, so we're going to be linking to a lot of those products and thanks again for joining us and um, thanks for you know, having check yeah, and we'll be linking awesome. to um, we'll be linking to all of those uh, those great stores and, and products. So, again, thanks so much, guys. Thanks, Estella. Yay! Thank, thank you. you.